Hey everyone, this is Allie with Top Rated House of Bullies. Just wanted to make a quick video on this dog detector, the ovulation detector, Draminski. I believe this is the first Draminski. I know they came out with other ones before that has a chart tracker built into it. This one does not. So this is what it looks like coming out of the case. Get your alcohol swabs because that's what you're gonna need to to clean the probe that you put up inside of her. Alcohol swab. Then you got your instruction manual and the dog ovulation chart, detector chart. Okay, so I didn't find a lot on YouTube really explaining the chart or anything like that. So I just wanted to make a quick video to post up. So, whenever you first notice her come into heat, you want to get your equipment out and start tracking. And I'll show you in a minute how you insert it and how it works. But make sure that you track it. That way, say, on day one, this will be your day one. You take it a couple times and say she's a hundred. So you put a little dot there and you just make a little, little chart that you go with, like I did right here with uh, Medusa. And it will tell you right here, at, if it rises and it slowly goes down, then that's probably going to be her, uh, the, the time that you want to breed her and start breeding her. So I didn't find a lot of this on the internet, but the chart is very important and you want to make sure that you take it at least two to, I say minimum two times a day, once in the morning and once at night to make sure that she's, to track it, see if she's going all the way up and down because this is, that's crucial to knowing exactly when to breed her. All right, so getting to the Jerminski, the equipment, okay? So... You want to make sure you clean it with alcohol swabs. Clean the, the little probe thing. Okay. You want to put it up inside of her. Say it's inside of her. And see this button right here? So you're going to press it. It's going to come on. It's going to flash. Okay. All right. It's on. So whenever it's on, you want to twist it inside of her. That's one. Press it one. Okay. Then you want to twist it again inside over. Hit it again. That's two. And then you want to twist it again. That's three. And this should be the last time that you turn it inside over. And see it's gonna read that because it's not inside of her but whenever you hit it it should show like a hundred it'll actually give you a number like this one right here results was 940 and then the next time we took it on six seven six seven was 680 you can just see that she was going uh, down at that point and then she has spiked uh, on the 13th well not spiked, just went up a little bit um, and then once you get done, oh, I forgot to, to mention that you do not put any lube on this because it can mess up the results that you have, uh, during that time. You want to make sure it's clean with the alcohol swab and put it directly inside of her, no lube at all. Um, and then once you take it out, you clean it with, uh, alcohol swabs or you can clean it with, uh, soap and water and then go back over it with the alcohol. But you want to make sure this thing is really clean and it does go off by itself so you don't have to do anything. And this is the part that you take off to change out the batteries that's up inside of here. And I believe that's, that's really it. You just want to make sure you track her. You want the first sign of when she's coming in the heat, you want to go ahead and start tracking it two to three times a day. Make sure that you sterilize the equipment and that's pretty much it. And just read your instruction manual and then 
whenever she goes up, see, that's a false peak right there. Because th this is why you want to check it two to three times a day. False peak, you'd be like, oh, I should breed her. No, because if you keep on, the next day, she'll just level out and then she'll constantly go up. And then it'll peak and then it'll slowly go down until it levels out and she's not breedable anymore. That's really what you want to do. All right. Well, I hope this has helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe to the channel. I plan on doing more videos on dog breedings and, and anything like that related. Just in case that I know something that somebody else doesn't know. Y'all have a good day. Bye.